Welcome back to Techie Blossom. If you are working with Superbase, you already know it's a fantastic open source Firebase alternative. It's a powerful open source backend solution for managing your data. But did you know it comes with powerful filtering capabilities that make querying your data super easy? Today, we are starting a new series on Superbase filters, where we will deep dive into each filter one by one. First up is the EQ filter or equal which is one of the most straightforward and commonly used filters i will show you how i use this filter in my app foot maidan to fetch players by their league club or nation plus we will explore examples from e-commerce subscription applications and more stick around for practical tips to supercharge your queries the eq filter is short for equals and it's used to retrieve rows where a specific column matches a given value think of it as saying give me all the rows where this column equals this value for example let's take an e-commerce application if you want to fetch all products in the electronics category which has category id of 2 here is the query for that you will write column name as category id in the eq function and then pass in the category id it's simple and efficient, perfect for filtering data. Now let's implement this in a real world scenario from Footmedan application. Suppose we want to fetch players who are part of a specific club like Real Madrid. Here's how you would do it using the EQ filter. I will pass in the club ID as the column name uh, three as the value of that club ID. If the query is successful, the response might look like this. If no players match, the result will be an empty array. It's that easy to retrieve precise data. The EQ filter isn't just limited to simple queries. You can combine it with other filters for more complex scenarios. So let's ex explore some common use cases. Let's say a user selects La Liga in Foot Maidan. You can fetch all players in this league using this code where you pass in the league ID as column name and two as the league ID of La Liga. Now let's say a user wants to find all Brazilian players where they have nation ID of 76 playing for Real Madrid in La Liga. So you can combine multiple EQ filters like this. First is league ID, then club ID and then the nation ID. This time the response will be narrowed down further to show only those players who belong to La Liga and Real Madrid and Brazil. Now this is a perfect scenario for search forms or filtering results by multiple criteria. Let's go to e-commerce. If you want to fetch all products in a specific category with a specific tag, you can again provide two EQ filters, one with the category ID and one with the tags. If you are in a subscription application, you can filter premium users in a specific region. Like you can say subscription type is premium and region is Europe. These examples show the versatility of combining EQ filters for precision. Now, before we wrap up, here are some tips to use the EQ filter effectively. First is indexing your columns. Make sure the column you are filtering by, like league ID, club ID or nation ID, are indexed for faster queries. Second is using explicit data types. Now, when filtering integers like IDs, Ensure your values are integers to avoid mismatches. In this code, the league ID is dynamic here. So let's say you passed in a string value as league ID. Here, league ID is treated as a string, whereas the database expects an integer. The query will not match any rows because of the type mismatch, even if the data exists. So it's better to make this league ID as integer type instead of dynamic. But for some reasons, let's say you cannot do that and have to pass the dynamic type, then do a type check. You can check whether league ID is an integer type or not. If it is not, you will not proceed further. But if it is, you can go on and filter the results. Next tip is error handling. Always check for errors in your query response. If there is error from Superbase, do not uh, parse the data. If there is no error, you can go on and pass the uh, data for the players. Now these practices ensure that your queries are efficient and robust, especially when handling large data sets like player stats. 
And that's a wrap for today's video on the EQ filter in Superbase. Now you know how to use it to build powerful filters for apps like Footmeran. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Techie Blossom for more coding tips and tricks. Up next in the series, we will explore the NEQ filter not equal and how to use it to exclude some data. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, drop them in the comments below. Until next time, happy coding.